Here I am at the Virgil Gus Grissom Memorial, and we will learn interesting things about Gus Grissom. Gus Grissom was born on April 13th, 1926, in Mitchell, Indiana. His nickname was Gus. He made airplane models out of balsa wood. Dad? Wong? What is this place? What's the other side of this place? We are at the Gus Grissom Memorial Monument. And this is where Gus Grissom attended, attended grades one through six, right here at his memorial statue that you will see pictures of. The bricks from this wall came from his school. Gus was intelligent. He had an IQ of 145. He worked on orchards picking fruit before he joined the military. He earned a mechanical engineering degree. He was the actual first person to fly a rocket manually. Gus Grissom as a toddler with his younger sister, Wilma. Gus Grissom as a boy was in Boy Scouts. Here are some of his uh, badges. Gus Grissom was in the Army Air Force and he fought with in the Korean War with the non-communists. Here is some of Gus Grissom's army stuff. Air Force. Or Air Force stuff. Uh, here are all the planes Gus Grissom flew, tiny versions of them. Gus Grissom was the first astronaut to fly in the Gemini program. Here is the Molly Brown, the capsule that he flew in. Gus Grissom was an astronaut. Here is his helmet from the Mercury flight. Gus Grissom was almost the first person to fly in all the three early rocketing programs, Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. Here is the suit he used in one of the Gemini launches. Gus Grissom was very humble. He was asked to compare himself with other pioneers and said pioneers came up with the plan themselves. We are just riding into walking. <clears throat> Gus said, if we, if we die, we want people to accept it. We are in a risky business and hope if anything happens to us, it won't delay the program. He said that weeks before he died. Gus Grissom died May 12, 1968 on a launch pad along with two other astronauts. He was buried at Airline National Cemetery. Here is his funeral flag. Here is his funeral flag. And some pictures of the funeral. Gus Grissom died in the Apollo 1. A, one 
one of the metal seats chafed a wire, which made the wire cause a spark and made the rocket burn. They, they couldn't get fa out fast enough. The door hatch took a minute and a half to open, and it was pure oxygen. In 14 seconds, they were dead.